Hey guys, welcome to Retro Peace Theater. I'm trying to get up this hill. I've made several tries before I realized that the capture wasn't recording. Uh, so that's why my health is a little low. Ha ha! I got it! Okay. Boss fight. Now this fight is not terribly difficult. Um, same deal, we're actually gonna try to use the Megaton Hammer for it. Um, Now for the creepy water monster. Creature from the Purple Lagoon. Or blue, depending on the color settings of your TV. Alright, so just like all of the other levels, the weapon you get is the one that uh, you need to use to defeat said boss. Up. Give it a moment. Just don't let it touch you. That's really the key here. that happens. Hammer, I think, is actually stronger. The sword has better reach. And he brought friends. The 
Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm concentrating. <laughs> There we go. the boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. We have just beaten the Water Temple. And most people would probably agree with me when I say it is the hardest temple in the game. Here we are, back in the Chamber of Sages. Four of the six are now awakened. We have Raru. We have Princess Ruto. Uh, we have Surya. And we have... Um, Darunia. We have two more to awaken. We are returned now to Lake Hylia. There's a lot of side quest stuff I'm not doing in this playthrough. Maybe once I beat the game, maybe I'll go back and do them. There's one more thing I want to do before leaving here. We're going to fire an arrow into the sun. And when we do, we get the fire arrows. And I was This is what I originally came to the lake to do before I started the water dungeon, but realized I didn't... I wasn't equipped to get over there and the water level was too low. So now I can. Right now, 
I need to go back to... Uh, we're gonna, for the first time, we're gonna do some jumping through time. Um, so right now I need to get back to Kakariko Village. So I'm going to warp back to the Temple of Time. And I've got something I need to do as an adult first uh, before I go back. There's a new song that I need to get. And I could have gotten this earlier, but I was trying to get to where I was. And now it's actually pertinent that I have the song. And just for fun, because it doesn't matter anymore, we don't need this for to breathe underwater, I'm going to go back to the classic Link look, the classic green. Although I think the red visually is my favorite. Um, you just always associate green with Link. You just do. You know, every game he's got green. Well, pretty much every game. Every game that comes to mind offhand. We need to get a magical item before, um, we need to get another magical item before we can do anything else, before we can go to the next dungeon. And, oh no, Kakariko Village. And that is where we are going, Temple of the Shadow Spirit. Remember Impa? Impa had sealed the evil down at the bottom of this well. Now, in a casual playthrough, I could go to the Shadow Temple right now, but it would be no good without um, the object that I need to get. Oh. My bad. One too many buttons.
So going down to the bottom of the well right now won't do us any good, but we are going to go down there in the past. But to get down there in the past, the well was filled with water. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to talk to this guy. Pull out our ocarina. going to teach us the song that some strange kid played him in the past. And I could have gotten this earlier, but again, didn't feel like it. And contextually, it makes more sense to get it now anyway. And now the windmill suddenly goes a whole lot faster. Okay. Now we are going to go back to the Temple of Time and back to our youth. Look at that, we're a kid again. So now, we're going to go back to that windmill, and we're going to be that kid that plays that strange song from the past. kind of refreshing to come back as a kid because, you know, the world isn't falling apart around you. We're actually going to be doing this next section quite a bit as a uh, kid link. See how nice of a guy he is now. And that completes our songbook for now. And Song of Storms.
Okay. The well was drained. And now we jump down. Now, this is actually its own little mini dungeon, but I'm just gonna kinda do my best to speed run through it. Um, because there's a whole bunch of extra stuff you can do here that's really not necessary. Um, at least not necessary to complete. I'll come down here. Oh no! Where do I go? How weird is this? <gasps> it's a hidden wall! Okay. So I'm gonna follow the stream. There are hidden walls and there are holes in the floor you can fall down and all kinds of crazy, just craziness, craziness, craziness. And I am looking for the Triforce symbol on the ground. We're actually going to go back around to where we were, where we came in at. We're going to avoid him as much as we can. Oh, that's good enough. And this is where we came in, but now, if I want bombs, I can get those, but I'm pretty much full. We're going to crawl in here. No, 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 no. magical item. The Lens of Truth. Now, the Lens of Truth uses magic, but it will allow you to see hidden things, it will allow you to see where um, fake walls might be, things like that. Um, it is critically important for uh, the Shadow Temple, which is where we're going to head to next. And since the last episode was so long, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to where 
I'm going to warp back to the Temple of Time, become an adult, and then we're going to warp to the front of the Shadow Temple, and that's where I'm going to end the episode. So let me get out of here real quick, and uh, we will move right along. <laughs> And here we go, on our way out. And there is a whole lot more you can do in that dungeon. But as I said, I'm just... I was there for that one item. Everything else that's there is just extra. It's coins, it's... Uh, which I don't need rupees. It's... Um, Gold Sculpture is. It's nothing that is critically important for me to have at the moment. Um, okay, we're gonna warp back to the wonderful Temple of Time. This is why I love warp songs, they are just the best. Yank out the sword, and off we go. And now we are back to Adult Link. And let me get the Nocturne of Shadow out. <laughs> This is an area that you can only get to once you have this song. See all these torches in the room? We gotta light them. Best way to do that... Din's fire. Okay. And we are now inside of the Shadow Temple. Alright guys, so that's where I'm going to end this episode. Um, next time we're going to take on the Shadow Temple. I'll see you then. Bye.